and welcome back for more Monster Boy and Curse Kingdom. We got a key to the, we got a key to the mansion, well to one of the doors in the mansion, so we got to get that that. And also, what I just figured out when looking through this part, because this is close to the this is the part that I ended up having a Because there was a certain somebody Anyway, <clears throat> you'll, see, like, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, and I'll explain more when we get there. After struggling to get a chest that doesn't really matter. Well, I guess well it does if I want to get a hundred percent on this game, but uh percent on this game. But the main important thing here is the night puzzle that pretty much opens up most of the banner once I once I finally get the chest. So unbeatably unveil the line, push a statue. It shines through the banner. So I need to find so I need to find the way.
to help our source of value move along by moving these statues around. And of course, we have the ghost that pops in in trolls by moving my mirror. But that doesn't matter right now. So I might as well get things adjusted so I can, <laughs> so I can actually get this light like, just pointing in the right direction anyway. gave me the vibes that Malino is undead, <laughs> but he's not. Also, the talisman. Yeah. Oh, I think I got his name right. It's hard to remember his name. I don't really care because I don't like this guy. Anyway, yeah. I was sitting here confidently thinking that, oh, well, if he's going to race me again, then this should be easy because I have the lion floor, which is god of running. <laughs> and I figured that, oh, it's just going to be one of those races where I just have to keep, make sure I grab all the uh, little stamina re restoration bits. And I was only half right, or well, a fourth of the way right. So this race is... Uh, here was my first mistake. Don't try and follow him to beat him out because that doesn't work. Yeah, don't follow him. 
What I didn't notice was that at the bottom there is a path specifically for me. <laughs> it's dumb, I know, but yeah. You're also going to need double jump. I thought that I kept thinking to myself that, oh, well, maybe there's a way I could run across the spikes. No, there isn't. <laughs> so, yeah. This is just only one part of the dreaded race. Yeah, just look at me being stupid and think that, oh, I can... But no, there's a path on the way. And I'm supposed to take it. And of course, because I equipped wrong, like, why couldn't the magic set have a double jump as well? So I might as well just re equip myself correctly. I also discovered that really it doesn't matter how fast you are, it's just a matter of can you get to a certain point in a specific amount. So yeah, I'm going to include a couple of these failures and then there's going to be the winning one. Oh, and also, oh, I should also mention if you die during these, you go all the way back to your previous set. So yeah, you gotta walk all the way back to this. I didn't notice here that I was supposed to go turn into a dragon. So yeah, <laughs> this is quite the number of failures.
And oh my god, we finally make it after so many failures. Trust me, there was a lot more than what you've seen on here. It was, it was roughly 40 minutes of me failing at that part. And a lot of it was just at that, fr that last frog jump. Because I kept missing it. Like I just kept mi like, I kept missing it. I'll tell you right now, the best thing the best thing you can do about that is just don't touch the control stick at all. Like just let go of the control stick, like let it fall in neutral and throw your tongue out there. So he finally hands over the dragon talisman and now I have most of my dragon prowess back, which is flying and having the infinite fire breath. Definitely need it for this manner actually because there's still a lot more to go we still have to find sir hoots's item that he dropped and ended up having stolen and that's going to be quite that's going to be quite the hand, quite the handful to deal with so that pretty much ends this part i'll see you guys next time where i struggle through more of this area Oh, and apparently, apparently Malino has cut a deal with the ghost or whatever to keep his treasure safe. It doesn't make much sense, but whatever. <laughs>